Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and I'm very very happy because I have my new book in my hands and it is about to hit the bookstores. You can actually order it already from Amazon. This is the famous book. <laughs> it contains several sections. Here you can see a few of the drawings in it. First, it talks about the basics of drawing, including the materials, how to use them, the colors and how to mix them, the shading. It has a section on how to draw jewelry, another one on metals, some hard surfaces, such as this one on how to draw wood. This is the final drawing on it. Marble, rock, crystal and glass, etc. But today we're going to do one of the projects from the section on water. Not the one on the water drop, neither the one on the dolphin underwater, but rather this one of a still surface. There are photos with simple instructions of every step of every drawing in the final image. Okay, let's get started. We will draw some branches reflected on a water surface. First, we sketch very lightly where the first one will go. That's just a visual guide. Then we come back and press more on it, giving more color and width. As this is a reflection on the water surface and this one has waves, our line should be in fact wavy, and it may also be broken in some parts. It may have some white spaces between the line, or I should actually say blue spaces, because as you can see, I'm using a blue paper to give the ambience of the water. As our branches are obviously upside down, as we come down, two things will happen. One is that they may be dividing into more branches, and the second is that they should become thinner and thinner. Very good. Here we will divide it again, branching off into an even thinner one. We come back to the top and do a shorter one, and then another one in another. And so we continue. Some will be longer, some thicker, and some darker than others. Remember that each branch has its own character and its own shape. Additionally, the waves create a distortion so you can play with all these factors. If the lake was totally calm and flat, in theory, the reflection would be like on a mirror. The more wavy the lake, the more broken and distorted should be the branches, to the point where with big waves, there would be no more visible reflection. I want my woods to look thick, so I do some more. and darken some waves so that it doesn't look too uniform. With an eraser we can lighten up some parts of some branches so that they look also like waves. And we reinforce with the pencil. Here I want to make an effect as if something dropped in the water. There will be some concentric ovals. And up here another one a little bit smaller. Very good, I like it how it is looking. We reinforced some areas and then we give a light blue tonality to some parts. This will make so that the water will look more realistic. This is very fun, drawing is so great. Now with a white pencil we can highlight some reflections. We do the last little details, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.